Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A decently quiet, if not colder evening as a lot of cold air begins to spill its way into the Mid-South area for tonight around our latest storm system. We do have the potential of maybe a little bit more in the way of precipitation coming our direction as we get into the late evening hours. Sorry, kids and teachers, even though we do see the possibility of, yes, some more snowfall coming our way, perhaps the last time for the winter season as we wrap up with the winter uh, season as we go into around next Tuesday. Spring starts in just about nine days time so we're almost at that change in the seasons coming up in just a little bit almost getting closer toward the equinox and if you'd like to know a little bit more about that forecast all you have to do is look at the lower portion of your screen blue bar down here you can check out more about the forecast also available from our seven day forecast available at wrag.com slash weather. Apologies for being on a little later tonight. Unfortunately the computer here for tonight not exactly doing exactly what it should have been doing and doing the software updates during the day chose to do it right before we went on with our netcast technology what are you going to do so again there you go anyway apologies for a little bit later but we're on now transmitter tower cam more clouds out there if it looked a little gray out there today that's because it is we've got a lot of dust being kicked up a lot of topsoils around the area being scattered into the sky and that's what we've seen across the area for tonight so continue to see some windy conditions out there cameras at times you're going to see them kind of wibble wobble back and forth by just a bit dry conditions right now at i240 and poplar and everything moving along quite nicely at this time. The windy conditions will continue into tonight. The entire News Channel 3 viewing area is under a wind advisory. Started at 7 o'clock tonight. We'll go till at least 4 o'clock tomorrow morning which means if you have any travel overnight, winds coming in from out of the north, if you're traveling especially east-west on any of these roadways, you're going to have a lot of wind pushing against your vehicles. And that could cause some chop on the roadways, not to mention some pretty healthy wind chills out there by tomorrow morning. So again, please keep an update on News Channel 3 for a little bit more on that one. Uh, Tony Neiman, uh, yes, you did hear the word snow come out of my mouth, and I'll be saying it again a lot of other times. Snow. Oh, look, there it happened again. So so there you go for just to confirm that uh, for you happening at this point in time. Uh, Anna Reed Schwerner, Schwerner, when is it supposed to start snowing in Mount Vernon, Ilions? Not too sure where that is. Doesn't sound like it's in uh, our particular area at this point in time. But uh, if you are going to be around the Mid-South. Could be, again, some more activity up that direction. We'll take a look up in that area in just a little bit. 39 degrees in Gibson County. Kenneth Sims. Uh, Phelan Hodnett. Is this real? Well, let's see. Doesn't look imaginary, so yeah, I have to assume that it is real for right now. Thank you very much. Uh, Presley Marie Helmus. How, why am I being so salty? Pretty much the way I am after having 90 minutes of sleep after, again, going through the time change and severe weather. But I'm really charming when you get to know me. So, again, something to think about there. Uh, as we go into the rest of the area for tonight, again, decently quiet, but decently also breezy out in that area. Here's the storm system we're watching. You can see the low-pressure area rotating away air around low-pressure centers in the northern hemisphere rotates counterclockwise. So as this makes its way out of here, we'll be seeing drier conditions out here. But notice what's going on right back into southern parts of Missouri and Illinois. We're getting again, it's not much, but we are getting some of it on radar at this time to where the green indicates the rainfall and the possibility of that changing over to a rain-snow mixture. And again, much of that is well to the north of the News Channel 3 viewing area, but some of those very light sprinkles are starting to make their way into and around northeastern Arkansas and back into and around the area of northwest Tennessee at this point in time. So again, this is going to be uh, more possible problems into and around the area for right now. Uh, Angie Yanni Blades, are we seeing snow in Memphis? Well, not exactly. We could see a few of those flakes dropping all the way down to around uh, the Memphis metro area a little bit later on. But as of right now, this is the extent of the moisture. Again, it's going to take a lot more for it to reach down toward the Mississippi line at this point, so we don't see a lot uh, going on immediately at this time. Judy Brown, how many inches expected? Uh, none whatsoever at this point. I think the ground temperatures are too warm, and I think that, as you can see here, this is not blizzard territory by any stretch of the imagination, so I doubt we're going to be winding up with much of anything involving precipitation on the ground. And as of right now, this is going to be what we wind up with for later on tonight. 
just the lighter potential. Let me see if I can go back one map here. Is just notice that again from the back edge of the system, there's hardly any moisture. All the moisture is over here, making its way up around the leading edge of that low pressure. Back here, it's very dry. Matter of fact, if you take a look a little farther to the north, lack of cloud cover. That's cold, clear air right here. The gray colors indicate where we're seeing again the cloud cover out there and the chances of any moisture coming on through here from southeast Missouri is a potential. So again, around Blytheville, Jonesboro, Dyersburg for the most part, and into around Gibson County, that's where we're going to be seeing more of anything involving snow mixed with light amounts of rainfall at this time. But it does not look like anything huge. And again, for those kids out there who are saying, oh boy, snow day, and the teachers as well, yeah, not going to be happening this time around. So again, doubt we're going to be seeing too much of anything going on uh, in tune around the area for the time being. But we could see some of this if it survives and if there's enough moisture in this to make its way down to around maybe the Tennessee-Mississippi state line. So through the next couple of hours, I would say past about News Channel 3 at 10 to around midnight, we may see that potential of some light snow showers coming on through. It's not much. I almost said it ain't much, but I don't want to honk off all of the English teachers out there. Uh, as of right now, again, this is about as good as it gets for the time being. And here in the Mid-South, dry conditions for the most part on Storm Tracker 3S. We'll continue to monitor as this stuff gets a little bit closer to the viewing area as it goes through Dyer County and into around Mississippi County and Arkansas, but we just don't see too much of anything, again, in the way of a main problem at this point. Uh, Tim Barber, bring back the warm temperatures. We can do that. Hang on for more on that coming up here in little bits. Uh, Ray Lott, kids are still on spring break. Depends on which school system you're in. Some are on spring break, some are not. So again, we'll be seeing some fairly nice weather out there into and around the area for the rest of the evening. Timothy Turner, senior, a little uh, dusting around a few minutes ago. Okay, thank you very much uh, for that weather report. Rutherford, 40 degrees. Timothy Turner, senior, thank you very much. Uh, for that one. Charles Puncho Gunter, drink some coffee to take the edge off. You know, this time of the evening, usually I switch to decaf, even though that's kind of a dirty word with coffee drinkers uh, trying to calm down a little bit because eventually I'll have to get some sleep. But, you know, a pot and a half of coffee per uh, morning shift, that usually does the job, especially when you're dealing with the time change out there. Now, again, if you're traveling north and east tonight, Paducah up toward Carbondale, St. Louis, in the next several hours, <laughs> You may see some visibility problems because of this, and the rain chances are pretty well gone all the way back to the east of Nashville, heading toward the plateau and into the eastern parts of Tennessee, and that's the rainfall pretty well gone for much of the Mid-South. But we'll continue to see again this moisture head down, mixing with that cold air. It doesn't look like what it was a few hours ago, so it's looking like we're going to be seeing the possibility of maybe some flurries, and that's about it at this point in time. Uh, Susan Armstrong Arthur, indoor swimming pool. Sounds like a great idea for right now. Tabby Warren Tomlin, Tomlinson, sorry about that, two-point typeface and bifocals don't really work too well at this point in time. Uh, Earl Margaret Cutchins, yeah, we'll uh, be working on some calmer weather out there, but Todd Demers will be taking some vacation later on this week, so I'll be filling in for him coming up a little later on. Temperatures at their lows. We started off the day pretty mild, but numbers have considered downwards over or trended downwards over the last couple of hours, and also considering with winds like this out there, we've got wind chills down into the 20s tonight. So if you've got any plans for outdoors for the kids that are not on spring break and going back to, to a school, to the class classrooms tomorrow. They're going to see some very chilly numbers for not only tomorrow morning, but also into around the next couple of days as that very cold air wraps around the rest of that system out there. Through the rest of the evening, again, if we get anything in the way of snow showers, it should be from southeast Missouri, the Boot Hill, northwest Tennessee, right down to about the Tennessee River. Some of that might stray into the metro area, but I just don't think we're going to be seeing too much of anything else uh, at this point in time in the way of major amounts of problems for the time being. So uh, Palmer-Densford fishing weather, uh, you're going to have to ask somebody else on that. 
I know people who love to fish in calm, dry, sunny weather, and I know people who like to go out and fish in the middle of rain showers. So not too sure what perfect fishing weather is, but uh, over the next few days should be rather nice, at least a little bit into and around the area for right now. Rest of the day, again, showing the possibility into tomorrow, getting rid of what's left of this moisture moving on through the Mid-South into tonight. And by tomorrow morning around rush hour, breezy northeast northwesterly winds, and then lots of sunshine out across much of the area. And this is where we see, again, the potential for, again, the possibility of getting some sunshine in, but not too much in the way of warmth. Marissa Carmel Payne, yes, it is for real. It's definitely real weather. It's not imaginary, unless, of course, I've been drinking too much coffee at this point in time. So uh, this is what we're seeing for tonight. Again, non-imaginary weather from News Channel 3. Uh, Bozo Wolfolk, seven, uh, 37 degrees in Senatobia. Thank you very much uh, for checking in. Through the rest of tomorrow, lunchtime temperatures a bit brisk, lower to mid 40s out there. And as we go into tomorrow afternoon, mid to upper 40s to around lower to mid 50s. And that's about as good as it gets out across the Mid-South with those winds continuing out of the northwest and going to be fairly breezy across much of the area for tonight. Much of what we're seeing again over the next couple of days should be decently dry and also very much on the milder side, but we're going to have to get through these very cool temperatures coming up with, again, some dry conditions out there at the bus stop over the next several days for the kids that do not have spring break this week. We are looking at some pretty chilly conditions out there. Decently dry, decently cool, not seeing, again, a lot of problems out there. Uh, Wade Mitchell, is this the last snow of the year? Could be, again, the possibility of that. I think as we go toward the end of the week, we'll show you that in just a little bit. But I think, yeah, this probably could be the last potential for any measurable snow that we get out there. And when I'm saying measurable, we're talking about a dusting at best in some areas. I still think the ground temperature is entirely too warm out there. Debbie Walker, Emma, is the best hostess in town. Yes, my daughter over at Lafayette's. Matter of fact, I just went over to pick up dinner there tonight. And uh, if you see her at Lafayette's Music Room on Overton Square, stop by and say hello to her. 47 degrees in Olive Branch. Thank you, Tarchella, Tarchella Twilly. Two-point typeface is kind of hard to read with bifocals. Tarchula, sorry about that. Uh, Jeff Livingston, 43 and cloudy in Eads, Tennessee. Brooke Goss, tired of snow. I think uh, more than a few people are of that same opinion for that for right now. Uh, see Charles Johnson, Tennessee whiskey in that coffee. Fermented root beer at best, and that's going to be about it for right now. And Angie Rose, uh, along those same lines, thank you very much for thinking about the root beer at this point in time. Now, throughout the rest of this next week, again, we start to warm up toward week's end. That's when we also bring back in some more rainfall. I'll pause here for a second so everybody can groan a little bit and get that out of their system. We see, again, the possibility of more showers Friday night and way too warm for anything but rainfall. And as we go into the last weekend of winter, temperatures will be feeling more like springtime. St. Patrick's Day, uh, if you're going to have any plans for any celebrations outdoors, you may want to think about bringing those back in again, because right now we're showing about a 60% coverage chance for anything involving uh, showers or thunderstorms into the Mid-South area. Marguerite Hibbets, 81 in Miami. That uh, sounds like it's decently comfortable, not quite in the Mid-South. South area, but thank you uh, for checking on in for the time being. As of right now, again, we're seeing the possibility of more rainfall through next weekend. The first day of spring is next Tuesday, not this Tuesday, but the Tuesday after next starts at 1115 our time if I'm not mistaken. So again, we'll be reaching towards springtime and another chance of thunderstorms as we head toward about Wednesday or so, so we can see again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms out there. Maurice Jones is the rain gone. Uh, for now, we got some sprinkles later on tonight, rain snow showers into very early Monday morning, and then our next chance of rain is going to be coming up as we head into this next weekend. So unfortunately, I wish I could say it is gone, but it doesn't look like we're going to be seeing anything else like that coming on through. Uh, Chantel Toxalot Mula, when will the flooding stop? Right now, it's going to depend on all that water draining into the Mississippi and heading on down the Mississippi River down to the Gulf of Mexico. We continue to see any chance of rain out there to aggravate the flooding situation. So hopefully that's not the case at this point in time.
time. So uh, we'll see what that does, and we'll continue to monitor the National Weather Service. Uh, thanking Gene Wrench, the service hydrologist from the National Weather Service, for keeping us updated here at News Channel 3. Really do appreciate uh, what's going on at this point in time. Charles Johnson, the only station reporting snow. Possibly. I haven't been tuning in to any other station, so I'll have to take your word for it uh, at this time. Kenneth Sims wearing green that day. You know, I would really like to do that, but unfortunately when you have that to operate in front of, it's kind of hard to wear anything on the green side. So I would love to be able to do something green, but uh, my producers get kind of nitpicky out about this point in time. Christy Ruckus, Snow Chance for Memphis. Barely anything to worry about at this point. Deborah Ferguson, in all caps, did I say snow in the Mid-South? Yes, I said snow in the Mid-South. Believe it or not, it does happen in mid-March if the conditions are correct out there. So we'll see again some more potential for that tonight, but very slim potential at this point in time. All right, let's switch gears and show you a little bit more about the pictures that we've had out there from the last couple of days. Dustin Whitehead from around Holly Springs, Mississippi, looking at what looks to be about quarter to almost ping pong ball sized hail in portions of the mid-south area from around north mississippi last night that's basically where we got all of our hail pictures out there that were sent in to us on social media so we do have again uh some out there and most of it looks to be about like pea and marble size from last night that was decent significance especially when we picked up this much of it out across portions of the area cold air several thousand feet up it didn't take much to turn that rainfall into hail coming down Chuck Moore from Sardis, Mississippi, and uh, Miss Aza Moore picking that up and showing you the hail gathering on the pool cover last night in Sardis, Mississippi. And a nice view from Katrina Alum from around Ashland, Mississippi last night. And again, close to ping pong ball sized hail. So that was some decent updrafts keeping those hailstones going for the early evening hours last night uh, at this point in time. So we do see again the potential for less of that in the near few days. Also, another couple of pictures out there not hail related uh, thanks to well one more anyway from s womack underscore wx from around ashland mississippi sarah womack if i'm not mistaken uh, showing that hail picking up to around a couple of inches worth out there so we did see a decent amount out there for there w carrero nice sunrise or sunset if i'm not mistaken uh, from last week from around the Ole Miss campus around Highway 6. So thank you very much for that one. And, of course, my own co-anchor, Nina Harrelson, uh, showing how all the early morning news anchors are able to uh, do their best, even though we lose another hour of sleep, and myself especially, right after we did a lot of severe weather last night. So, again, taking it all in stride, that's what we do, but uh, that's, that's normal for having about two hours sleep before you get on the newscast in the morning. As we go throughout the rest of this next week, we'd love to see more of your pictures. If you got them, please send them along to Aonic underscore WRAG3 on Twitter. We'll have more on your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend, early Monday morning, my forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And, of course, I'll be on bright and early with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, talkbacklivenetwork.org if you can't catch their signal out there. And, of course, don't forget about our own weather expert, Todd Demers. He'll be up on daybreak starting bright and early at 430 in the morning. For those of you who are just tuning in, give me two shakes to go back just a little bit and show you that, yes, we do have some rain mixed with snow just north of the Mid-South area. And going to continue again to see this dropping on down our direction. But once again, it's on the back edge of all this dry air that is coming on through. So this is just remnants of the rainfall. The heaviest rainfall right now east of Nashville, Huntsville, heading toward eastern half of Tennessee. This is going to be dropping into the Mid-South area within the course of the next couple of hours. And we could see again some dustings of some snow out there, but I think the temperatures on the ground are way too warm to collect anything, and I doubt we're going to be seeing any problems at all on the roadways as we go into again tomorrow morning. So this is what we're going to be seeing for tonight. Remnants of rain mixed with or changing over to snow getting into tomorrow morning. Some emphasis on the word some of that could drop its way toward the metro area but beyond that I just don't think we're looking at too much at this time. We'll have an update on this coming up a little later tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Kristen Holloway will have an update on all the day's news and of course our own Mike Sadie has a busy day in sports and of course also talking about the NCAA basketball tournament which the brackets have been set and are ready to go so we'll have an update on that and on the end of the Tigers season coming up as well so stick around for more on that. 
that uh, in here uh, just a little bit on News Channel 3 at 10. Live and direct from downtown Memphis. Don't forget, if you have any questions or concerns, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com, and we'll keep you updated throughout the course of the evening on News Channel 3 on air and online. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Thanks for joining us from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center, and of course, more tonight at 10, and join Todd Demers tomorrow morning bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak.